What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic. And as I was browsing Facebook last week, I saw a Gizmodo article titled, You Do Not Need a Projector. And the article had projector myths and reasons why you shouldn't buy one. Now, I don't know who upset the writer of this article, but after reading this, I feel like now is a good time to do an updated TV versus projector video to address some common questions for people who are thinking about buying a projector. Now, if you're new to projectors or you're thinking about buying one and haven't seen my TV versus projector videos I did a few years ago, then I'll put links in the video description since they have some good info, but a few things have changed, especially with 4K projectors, so it's time for an update. So there always seems to be an unnecessary battle between TVs and projectors, which one is better? Well, of course this is subjective, but it really depends on your room and personal preference. My recommendations are usually pretty cut and dry. If you have a bright room with a lot of windows, then go with a TV. If you have a basement or a large space where you can control the light, then go with a projector. Another concern is space. So since the TV can hang on a wall, you're not really gonna get much better than that when it comes to space. And standard projectors need to be several feet away from the wall, so this really isn't ideal in a small room. Now, ultra short throw projectors sit right in front of the wall, so a room size doesn't really matter with these, but I'll talk more about those in a little bit. Another topic of debate that I've seen is that TVs are cheaper than projectors. And my personal take on this is that it's simply not true, at least not when it comes to size. So first you have to consider that the whole point of buying a projector is to project a larger image than you would normally get from a TV. So on average, most people project onto a screen ranger from 100 to 150 inches. To get a TV that big, you'd have to spend more than most people spend on a car. But you can actually spend less than $2,000 on a good 4K projector and go with whatever size screen you want. So when it comes to big screens, a projector is less expensive. So the one thing that everyone knows about projectors is that they work best in a dark room. This is why they turn the lights off in the movie theater. Now, even though we have really bright projectors now and special screens to help with this issue, it's still mostly true that projectors work best in a room that doesn't have a lot of ambient light, such as sunlight or overhead lights. And for this reason, I personally use a 75 inch TV in my living room because I don't want to deal with fighting with sunlight and the room layout doesn't really work for a projector. And in my basement, I have a projector and 135 inch screen since it's dark and easy to control the lights. Now, one thing that has sort of changed this dynamic is the ultra short throw projector. So these projectors are much easier to set up since they sit right on your TV stand and don't require professional installation. They're also really bright, so they tend to work better in a living room than a standard projector. Now, I still recommend closing the curtains with this type of projector, but if you pair it with an ambient light rejecting screen, you can get a bright crystal clear image image even with the lights on. Okay, so let's say you've decided to buy your first projector where there are some things you should know before you take on this task. First, you should know that most projectors don't have a smart TV interface like most TVs. This means you'll have to buy something like a Roku, Nvidia Shield, or an Apple TV to stream your movies and TV shows. The next thing is to make sure you're buying the right projector for your room. So there are generally five different types of projectors with regards to brightness. You have home theater projectors that have great picture quality. You have bright home theater projectors that sacrifice a little bit of color accuracy for more brightness. You have office projectors that are even brighter but don't look good for movies at all. You have low budget projectors such as LED projectors that are usually not that bright but really inexpensive. And you have large venue projectors that are the brightest but also incredibly expensive. And this next part I really want to stress to people because I think it's really important. I've found that when most people are searching for a projector, they tend to prefer bright projectors because in theory, a brighter image looks better than a dimmer image. While this is generally true, the thing you have to consider is that bright home theater projectors, especially DLP projectors, usually sacrifice a bit of color accuracy in favor of brightness. What this means is that certain colors may look a little weird or they might actually be dimmer than they are on the version with less lumens. Now this is subjective, but as a general rule of thumb, if you plan on putting a projector in a dark room, then you can easily get away with 2000 lumens or even a little less as long as the screen isn't too big. Another thing I want to mention about brightness is that three LCD projectors are often a little brighter than DLP since their color brightness is usually equal to their white brightness. However, DLP projectors are often a little sharper than three LCD, but either way, make sure you do some research because the brighter projector is not always better. Another thing to keep in mind when it comes to lumens is that big brand projectors tend to be a little more accurate with their lumen ratings than cheap projectors that you find on Amazon. So for example, this projector claims to produce 6,800 lumens with an LED light source. Now I hate to break it to you, but this projector isn't anywhere near that bright. Don't get me wrong, it might be bright enough to watch in a completely dark room, but don't expect to put it in a bright room with a bunch of light. 
That being said, some of these really inexpensive projectors work well for people who only want to pull out a projector every once in a while to watch a movie with the family. And I personally feel that this is fine as long as you know the limitations. Okay, so now that we talked about brightness, let's talk a little bit about ultra short throw 4K projectors. So over the past two years, ultra short throw projectors have become more popular since they're much easier to set up since they sit directly in front of the wall. They're also brighter than most standard projectors so they work better in a living room. They also produce a nice and sharp 4K image and usually have smart TV features built in. The only downside to these projectors is price since they're usually priced much higher than standard projectors. But considering the money you save since you don't need professional installation, an ultra short throw might be a good option if you want a huge bright screen with an easy setup. Another thing that's changed over the past few years is the number of 4K projectors out there now. When I did my TV versus projector video three years ago, 4K projectors were still really expensive and kinda hard to find. Well, now you can get a nice certified 4K projector for around $1,000. Now, you should be careful when you're searching Amazon for 4K projectors because there are a lot of low budget projectors claiming to be 4K that really aren't. Now, they're usually 4K compatible, meaning they can display a 4K signal, but the image projected from it is not actually 4K, so you should be mindful of this. The main thing to look at is native resolution, and the native resolution for 4K is 3840 by 2160, so if it's less than that, then it's not 4K. So this brings me to 8K since we have a lot of 8K TVs popping up in stores now. Now to be honest, I don't really see 8K becoming a thing in the projector world for several years. It took us a good while just to get to 4K. And when you consider that most movie theaters don't even have 4K projectors, it really brings it into perspective. The sad part about this is that 8K from a projector would actually be more beneficial than an 8K TV. I guess this is something we can look forward to in 2025 or something like that. But that's gonna pretty much do it for this video guys hopefully you found it helpful as always if you did go ahead and make sure you mash that like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything thanks for watching make sure you post your questions and comments in the comment section i'll respond to your questions and i'll see you guys in the next video